Hi guys. So today I'm going to make a video about the PM bus issue uh, on Dell, SAS, and RAID controllers when you're installing them in a non-Dell machine. So what I have in front of me here is a Dell H310. This is uh, a HBA card that's flashed with the LSI uh, IT mode firmware. And similarly, a uh, H Dell H200 which is also flashed with an LSI uh, IT mode firmware. And these are originally Dell cards that use an LSI 2008 chipset. And so they're compatible with the LSI firmware and oftentimes uh, people prefer them flashed to the LSI firmware for use in a server that's running FreeNAS or ZFS or some sort of software RAID system. Now, the problem is that these cards were designed originally for Dell servers and or desktop machines. And when you put them in a non-Dell machine, sometimes, not always, but sometimes you run into a problem. Probably the most obvious symptom you might run into is that your system won't post. It just simply won't start up. On other systems, I've had um, kind of very strange symptoms where, for example, on an HP machine, when I installed this Dell H310 once, uh, it would tell me that my DIMM modules were bad. And of course, at the time, I checked my DIMM modules and everything was fine, everything checked out. But as soon as I pulled this card out, all the DIMM modules were perfectly fine. I put this card back in and once again, it's telling me my DIMM modules are bad. And so, for whatever reason, uh, the SM bus signal from these cards was causing a problem on that HP machine. And so, if you run into a problem like this, um, there is a way to fix this. So not all is lost. You don't uh, have to give up. Um, and it boils down to basically blocking the SM bus signal. So let's take a closer look at the H310 here. If you look closely at the PCI connector here, you'll see markings on the connector that tell you uh, the numbering of the pin. So here it says B1 for the first, uh, this is the B side. and the first pin is B1's here, B11's at the end of here, and starts with B12 here and goes all the way to B49 at the end. And if you turn this around, you'll see that the other side is labeled as A1, so that's this pin, and this is A11, and then all the way over here to A49. And so this is the A side. What we'll be doing today to fix this uh, SM bus issue is to block pins B5 and B6. And so if you look closely here, this is B1. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are the two pins that are causing that problem if you are indeed having uh, a conflict with your motherboard and, and this card. And so all you have to do is block off these two pins so that the signal doesn't get to your motherboard and the card should then work as expected. Now there are a lot of different ways to accomplish this. Um, some people take more drastic measures and basically try to rip off these pins. Um, and you could do that. Um, some people will put nail polish over these pins to block it. And that's, that's a perfectly fine way to do it as well. What I like to use is this tape here. And what this is, is a P-Touch labeler tape. And I like it because one, the adhesive is pretty decent and two, it has a very smooth surface. So when you apply this tape over and insert it into the PCI uh, slot, the PCI pins just kind of glide right over the smooth surface and um, reduces the chances of it actually like pushing the tape off or anything like that. Now you can use anything else, but I, I tend to prefer this. I, I make a lot of labels, so I happen to have this around all the time. And so it's very convenient when I, if I have a problem like this, um, I'll just use the P-Touch labeler tape. Now, if we measure this um, on P5 and P6, it's about two millimeters wide, and it is about four millimeters long. So we're gonna need a strip of tape that's about two millimeters wide and four millimeters long. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna use the grid line here on my cutting board and uh, see if we can figure out about two millimeters what that would look like. That's about that much. 
Okay, so I'll hold the tape down and I'll just cut along that grid line. Hopefully that'll give me the two millimeters that I need. Okay. Let's let's double check that that's about two millimeters. Uh, well, that looks like it's a little bit wider, so let me just trim off just a little bit more. Okay, so hopefully that's about two millimeters wide. Yep, and we need about four millimeters of this in length. So that's not a lot at all. It's less than half. So it's about that much. Okay. So here's the piece of tape that we're gonna use to block off those pins. I'm gonna try to apply this with just a hobby knife here. And again, it's B5 and B6. So it's one, two, three, four, and then there's five and six. So I just place the tape right over those pins. Let's see if I can. Okay. Uh, it looked like it shifted a little bit. Let's see if I can. It's a little tricky sometimes to get this right. Where is the tape now? All right, let's try this again. Okay, that looks just about right. Hold it down. All right, there we go, this one Look like it works much better. I shift the tape just a little bit right in place there. And then I use the uh, end of my hobby knife here just to rub it down and make sure that uh, it sticks. All right, and that's it. So that's all you have to do if you're having problems with these Dell cards in a non Dell machine. Apply a little bit of tape like that, put this card back in, and it should just uh, work just fine. So hopefully that helps anybody who's having this problem. And uh, I have a store on eBay called The Art of Server where I sell these cards uh, and other ones that are uh, already in IT mode, uh, HBA cards. So if you need anything like that, please uh, check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.